Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Gothic 2, The Night of the Raven. Last episode, we did some town business. Basically, doing some thieves quests. Collecting a bow for Bosper, the silver for Korrigan. And brought them all back to the Ronos. Now, before we continue up the slope, I just remembered something that we should have done a little while ago. Or rather, at the beginning of the game. Down here, you remember the orc axe that we found? We also found bandits. And as a matter of fact, we didn't kill them. So, how uh, about well, we take a look inside now? Hello! Loafer. Trying to stay ahead of them a little bit, not to get too much damage here. Oh! Ooh. That hurt. So much for Ow, you, he killed me. That critical hit sometimes is really annoying. But, you know what? This time around, we're gonna do it differently. We're gonna let them come to us. You're in for it. That's the second one, by the way. A little bit to the sides here. There we go. Now it's a fair one on one battle. Get on to me, come on. Ah, do I hit you? Going down, my friend. All right, that's number one, and that is number two. Also, he's carrying a silver ring. Nothing to plunder. I'm pretty sure I actually plundered the left corner here. Uh, yes, I did. So, there's only the right-hand side of the cave remaining, which I have not yet visited. So, how about we take a look inside? Hmm? Also, there are some random arrows here that we can collect at this point. Never a bad idea. Also, a chest and some more random arrows. A fish. Which is definitely a normal fish, although it looks like the one with the message in it. So we're not caring about that too much. But you hear... Some of these things. So we shall kill them with great prejudice. Although we can't kill them with one hit right now, which is very unfortunate, but... That is how the game plays out with the add-on. It's just like that. Oh, there we go. That was critical. And this one we get as well. Skeleton's bone. And I believe that's it. Yes, there's a big orc statue here, but we can also walk through these spikes. Nothing will happen to us. Just a little bit exploration here. Now we are done with this cave here. Which means we're gonna drink a potion and then gonna eat two of these lovely meat bug meats.
And then we're gonna head outside again because we want to get up that slope that I did promise last time. So, the bottom here is completely cleared of monsters and bandits and whatnot. It is time to take it all a step further. Further ahead into the unknown we go! Because up here, more monsters will appear in the form of some balls. I'll tend not to go too close considering there are some monsters behind this thing here. Oh, he actually does barely any damage. That is actually very nice. Monsters do deal a minimum of five damage nonetheless, whatever you do. So you can't escape the basic damage that they do. But you can escape the maximum damage that they do. So with a good amount of armor, you shouldn't have too much trouble with these boards or the scavengers any longer. Neither are blood flies, so for example one about here somewhere. Let's see how bows actually fare against these beasts. Oh, not too bad either. Ding ding ding! Level up! Now let's see if we can kill one of those blood flies with one shot. That would be interesting. Oh, we killed the first one. And we killed the second one. Wonderful. We didn't need to do that Nothing much there. to completely kill them off. I like that. Also now we have more or less a very cleared path up to the top. Some more bolts here that I'm definitely going to collect. A leather satchel. And there should be some more plants on the way up. Not too many, mind you. But we're also going to meet someone. Nicholas. Did you run away too? What makes mm, you think that? Not really. Why would you come here all alone? There's nothing here. You mean other than you? I only wanted to have a look around. Okay, be my guest. Would you like a piece of meat? As long as you're sure that this meat is good, yes, then gladly. yes, sure. Here, the finest leg of mole rat, according to my own recipe. Thank you. So why are you here? I can get a bit of peace up here. I always mm. feel so restricted in the city. Well, I can guess why that is, because there are walls around town. Don't you have That's to work? That's what they're good for. Everything I need, I can get for myself. I cut the arrows, and nature provides the meat. So, you're a hunter? Yes, if you want to call it that. But I only hunt what I need for myself. That doesn't Not change the fact money. that you're a hunter. Even if you only collect that what you need for yourself. In that case, I'm sure you can teach me something. Why not? I could show you how to handle a bow. Mm, we don't need that, really. Bows are not my specialty. Melee weapons, on the other hand, definitely are. Much better. Nothing to be had there. More silence here on top of the cliffs. There's an axe here that we want to pick up. Other than that, we would like to go up this path here. There will be lots of plants on the way up, but there will also be a little bit of a reward once we make it all the way up there. Now we're going to collect all of this, even though we probably won't be needing a lot of it later. It's always good to have more reserve for things that you might need and not place yourself in the point of where you're craving for something that you didn't pick up because you thought, well, we don't need that. And then uh, you don't have it. 
so that would be a very bad idea. Also, there's a King Sorrel up here, which you should never, ever forget to pick up. Because it's a very rare plant, and it will need all the permanent potions that you can get later on in the game. Trust me on this. Right now we have a healing plant here. We have some scrolls, leather satchel, more scrolls, and then here is a ring. What is that ring, you might ask? And I shall tell you the secret of the ring. It is... Not this one. This one. The ring of astral power. That gives you a 10 mana bonus. And we can't equip it because we're actually wearing this one. So, let's equip it. And now, we shall receive 20... Wait, what? 25 mana? Indeed. Okay, 25 mana. Alright, yeah, we kind of eat the mushrooms to gain mana, and we already gained a plus 5 bonus early on. So how about we make this plus 10? That would be a wonderful idea. If we can do that, that is. Do we have enough? Ah, nope. Didn't have enough mushrooms to do that right now. Was there something more? No. So this is a ring that you might want to have if you're... Well, a mage with some early mana that you might need. 10 mana is never a bad idea. Because you can always use it for small healing spells or for early attack spells that you might gain with runes. But it's not a big deal if you don't have that ring. It's not a must-have, in my honest opinion. But if you prefer to be casting some spells here and there, it might just help out a little bit. So, we're going to go in here a little bit. We shouldn't go too far, because that, on the other hand, would be very dramatically a bad idea. But we can fight this boar. To not get bored at all, because fighting is always nice. And you see a little bit of a graphical glitch over there, because the rats are bathing in this little lake or pond, whatever that is. And of course they will be attacking me. Ah, she won't go away. There we go. Collecting some swamp weed. And once we have completed the stage up here, we shall be moving on to the mercenaries once more to bring back, for example, the package of weed that we have collected. Also, oh, there's some blood flies over there. We should be able to kill those. But the wolves first, I guess. No, I want to attack this one. Thank you, game, for giving me the opportunity to attack a beast that I was aiming at. Let's wait for that one to come to us. So we have a higher chance of hitting it. Alright, that should be our good. Now we don't want to go here because there are snappers, and snappers are terrible enemies to fight at this point. But what I want to do is I want to go up here for a second. I want to see if there's anything that I can collect. Well, I don't want to go in there, because I guess these blood pools tell the tale of the last person who wanted to get in there. He was horribly murdered, and we don't want to share his or her fate. Not by a long shot. 
What we want to do, however, is to try and do the following. Maybe we can do that, maybe we can't. We shall find out in a second. I want to jump down here. Uh, if I can, because I can't sneak by the... Actually, I think I can walk down. I don't even need to jump. Yep, there's always, of course, an easier way around things. Stupid me. There we go, much easier than jumping down from a cliff where you don't know if you survive the fall or not. Because this is a much safer variant. Now, you might think, well, why are you going up here? There's a special reason why I'm going up here. This is a lighthouse. Also, there's a lighthouse with a roof. But the point is, there are bandits down there. And we want to attack this one here. Because he has a bow. Let's see if we can hit him from here at least once. Come on. There we go. Well, it's not like uh, we what did much. Whoa! Okay, that was a lot of damage. That was not expected. I guess, uh, since he has a good amount of armor, we might have to do things a little bit differently, eh? Alright. Uh, can we sneak by? Let's try. I'm gonna rip you to... Jump over the fence. Come on, hero, jump. Jump. Good man. I guess he's still shooting. Alright. There's a special trick, though, we can do when coming from the front, which I'm going to try and utilize here. If we go to this side here, and go a little bit closer. I'm gonna rip you to One of them, oh, actually both of them are drawing their bows. <laughs> ow, ow! They can shoot through. Normally they can't. They're probably aiming for my oh god. Now he comes to me. There he is. Well, this one is actually pretty easy. Now, the problem is, of course, his comrade joins him, so that was a very stupid idea. But we can take them, if we use this trick. So basically what you want to do is you want to make them all draw their bows, and then only get one at the very same time, which will make things a lot easier. Now, he can't hit me here. Probably should get back a little bit. Try to slowly move forward. Oh, one of them is running back there. That's not the good thing for us. Not sure where they all are. This one's definitely coming to get us. Well, he could have fell down. I guess we're not strong enough for that, really. It's it's a hard thing to do, especially because they attack like twice the attack speed as other bandits. So I suppose we're gonna leave them for now, because we don't want another 25 minutes fight just to beat them. Especially because they're really tough. They can take a good amount of pounding because they're wearing a little bit better armor than all the bandits we've encountered before. So, we're going to leave them for now. I don't care too much about these guys anyway. But once we get a little bit higher level, maybe can use our 60 damage sword. 
then we can think about going back there. But for the time being, we don't really need to. And I'm not too keen on going back there either way. So, our path is set towards the mercenaries once more. They won't like that we've joined the militia, but, you know, it's not a big deal. They will accept our ways and they will say, well, you should have made the other choice, no, nah, no. Nah. But we're all right with this. Also, before we go there, actually, there is something, there's a little bit of side quest, that I want to trigger before going back to the mercenaries. Because it's only a thing that we can do uh, once we pass at the inn and go back here to Arkhill's farm. Because there's a special person here called Randolph. The uh, black dude over there. Who has a special interest in the inn. More to the point, there is a dude there that keeps drinking people under the table for no apparent reason whatsoever. He just likes Nothing it. There. Also, I'm not sure why this bandit corpse is still lying here, but it seems that it will disappear at some point. So there's one guy there called Rukar, who is a total douche. And he always likes to have a drinking contest with other people, but always seems to be the one coming out ahead. So we're gonna talk to him inside the inn. I'm gonna make sure that we set up another drinking contest. This one over here. Hello. Is the beer any good here? It's not exactly the best, but in these bleak times you can't be choosy. That was no big deal. What are you doing here? Up until a few weeks ago, I was slaving away on the landowner's field. One day it just got too much for me, and I took myself out of there straight away. Now I'm my own boss. Everything I own is in this chest here. That's all I need, too. Okay, that can't be too much. Contest? Depends. What kind of a contest would that be? I call it bottoms up. The rules are quite simple. We take turns ordering a tankard of the best beer the old geezer has to offer. Every tankard has to be drunk dry, so that it doesn't even leave a ring if you set it on the table upside down. The last man standing wins. The loser pays the tab and a stake. Well, how about it? Maybe some other time, when I'm not in a hurry. Been there, done that. Could I bet on someone else, though? Certainly. If you finally manage to find someone with the guts to go up against me, then I'll bet with you. All right. Everybody pays the same amount into a pot. The winner gets everything. The size of the stake depends on your purse. Bring me someone who dares to go up against me and you've got to bet. All right. Anything else of interest happen? Not that I know of. Nobody tells me anything. All right. So... He's waiting for someone to start up the competition. Yeah, I know, we have to run back to the farm of Akil now and talk to Randolph. And then we go back to Rukam and say, well, we've got a contestant for you. And then we're going to go back to Akil's farm and talk to Randolph. And he will slowly walk back to the inn. And then we're going to talk to Rukam and say, hey, you know... We've we've got someone here, and you're gonna beat him, Randolph. You're gonna beat this Rukar guy, and then you're gonna win my money, right? That's what you do, Randolph. That's what you do. But it's not that simple, though, because in the chest of Rukar, we have to exchange the beer for something differently. And this is the point where the water here comes into play. Hey, oh, also written caps. Hello, Randolph. All right? Yes, I'm fine. That Alvarez has become bolder and bolder lately. Good thing that's over. Yep, now. they're both dead. What the mercenaries we killed like ten episodes ago. Drop in the tavern. All right. You hang out in the tavern? That's right, but not recently. I cannot afford going there anymore. Why is that? What exactly is going on there in the tavern? 
There's gambling there. Oh, of course there is. compete against each other. Whoever can hold the most beer wins. In the end, I did nothing but lose, and now I need to make some more money first. So? Who did you go up against? Against Rukar, that old good-for-nothing. So far, he's beaten me every time. Mm, yeah. But somehow, I have the creeping suspicion that the filthy swine has laced my beer with gin every time. I suspect he keeps the gin hidden in that damn chest of his, that lousy scumbag. Somebody ought to sneak some plain water into his chest. Then he could lace my beer all he wants. If you know I what? We're gonna do that. Money to compete against him one more time. Right. Anyway, he's like, well, I'm so sad. I can't win my money back, so I need to do something else. If only I had the money to do something else. So I need to work the farm. He seems really sad, though. A really sad panda. Or rather... Well... Yeah, he's really sad. But we can help him alleviate that little bit of a down. Because we're gonna go back to the inn and gonna exchange the gin for water. However... I'm going to cut the episode here because we're already quite far in it. And I want to see the grin on Rukar's face. When he drinks the first beer and then see his sad face. Once he has noticed that he can't win next time. So. Prepare yourself for an epic drinking contest. Next time on Gothic 2. So. I will see you all next time.